thank you so much everybody for joining back in on Anno 1800 um, Axfield so right here you see our first airship and this is called the Harpy and I've been off screen busy to build my airships I've built my my airship hangar I've built my airship platforms into two islands that I've got in the new world and then as well as in the old world so I've been pretty busy I've also done a little bit of building on my production island for those that of you that have been following the series you've known that I've been busy building a production island in the old world to set up everything where I'm gonna basically become like my base of operations where I'm gonna produce everything and then also transport everything but the airships are working very well and we've got the harp here I'm using the harpy to transport mail both across the new world and then also into the old world so the harpy has got two heavy. slots so this is why I use the harpy for the airmail because once you set up a trade route with the airmail that's the only thing you can transport and that's the mail itself so what I'm doing is I'm sending local mail across to another island and then in return I get regional mail and then I take the local mail from the other side and bring it back to this island and that will then also translate to regional mail so these airships are really fast as you can see <laughs> they're moving so fast and they fly like the crow flies so I found a sweet spot I believe I'm just gonna check here I think it's here yeah so I found a sweet spot where I only take 15 local mail at a time from both islands otherwise it completely depletes my local mail so I found that with the 15 mail that it takes at a time I've been managing to stabilize my mail on both islands but it does give an enormous boost in your population so you can see with my urnaleros I've got 1750 as well as 2000 obreros and I must also add this is the joint population for both islands so I've got the commuter station here connected to the two islands so this is the population for both islands either way this will set me up for any type of production that I want to do in the new world as long as it's connected to a commuter via the islands then I'm um, I can have access to all of the workforce that's currently here so then also what I did off screen I built the oil rigs here and I'm transporting the oil I've set up I believe two yeah I've got two oil tankers bringing in the oil from the new world back to the old world and you can see the harpy is already returning from the mail it's insanely fast so I believe it's a perfect thing for for mail and then also if there's one specific item that you need quickly then you can use the harpy to transport that or if it's small or rare um, commodities that you want to trade so here by the hangar you'll see this is the all the ships that we've got available um, so the harpy as well as the hermes uh, the two of them only require aluminium sails and helium that's the only requirement for these two airships but all the other airships they require steam engines or either steam engines and cannons or cannons weapons uh, normal weapons as they call it so um, you're gonna need to start producing steam engines as well as weapons if you want to produce these other airships the one I really want to do is the Zephyr this thing just looks like a beast and it's incredibly slow but I mean do have the the eight cargo slots that's really awesome and you can see here uh, the maximum speed that it can go is 26 km or not sorry 26 knots and this one is 51 so with the smaller ship you get more than double or pretty much double yeah it's exactly double that you get with the harpy but um, Either way, I think you're going to still win with the Zephyr. Um, it's going to still be better than doing the cargo ships, the normal cargo ships. So I want to go to the old world and that will be probably my next mission. 
is to set up uh, the steam engine production so that we can start producing those beasts. <laughs> um, at the current moment, uh, they do not take any influence. You just see, uh, yeah. So they don't take any influence at the moment, but I believe it's like anything else. So once you've accumulated a certain amount, whether it's one, two, or three, then from there on onwards, it's going to start taking influence, and I believe it will take a lot of influence. Um, so I'm not really sure what the influence amount is, but we'll find out soon. So you see, I set up the the air platform here, so we're getting the mail now from overseas as well. And then now we've got localized mail as well as international mail. But I still need to set up an Asia platform, maybe on this side. Um, so I'm going to definitely have to look into that. So I'm going to maybe just go ahead and build the blueprint for the Asia hangar. Not quite sure where I want to place it yet. This seems like a pretty nice spot. Yeah, I think why not. Let's just place it here. There we go. Let's go to the road. And then I'm going to have to build my sorting office as well as the item transfer. I'm just connected to the road all around. Just make a nice square there. There we go. So now I'm going to need to bring in more aluminium from the new world, which is fine. I think what I want to do is maybe just to build an additional hobby, airship. And then if there's any odd pieces that we need to bring in from the new world, I can use this airship to do all the random errands. So that's my intention with this one. So I'm going to just start producing that and then I want to quickly show you what I've done on the production island so far so yeah I've set up a few buildings at the moment I've set up my furnaces as well as the steel production I've got a wall power plant here I've got my sewing machines and then also I've I had got better the cannery leave it to set. up and going so I still need to bring uh, the glass makers I need to bring that across to this island so this is definitely something that I want to start doing now so you'll see I'm bringing in the sewing machines as well as the canned foods from Ronki across to Silver Streams. So I need to bring in all the minerals from different islands still, but I'll also set that up off screen. So at the moment, I'm going to see here. I'm going to just take my my diving belt ship and just collect some more building materials about. from Silver Stream. And then I need to start bringing my glass makers across to the other island. So at the moment the glass making production or the, the spectacle production is currently standing still. So we're definitely going to have to up that. I've got a pretty good workforce at the moment. But I need to bring all the glass production across. just trying to see how I want to do this so I want to keep a coastal line clear for the glass making so I've got Look the nitrate the, the salpeta works I've got here so and that I've got to take uh, back to the new world to produce the helium so I'm gonna just leave that as it is I can maybe use this side for the glass works for the quartz mines so I'm gonna just go ahead and set up a few of them Let's maybe start on this side. Let's do three. Just to get the whole production going. Need a warehouse. And then obviously we're going to have to have a fire station as well. Let's just set up a fire station over there. And my intention is to eventually bring electrical line out to this side I think I'm going to maybe do my window production on this side 
keep everything here together so I'll also do this off screen just pull it a uh, rail all the way through and then we can set up the electrical lines on that side so that we can quicken the whole process for the production I'm gonna just build my trade union over here and then I am currently importing copper I believe just see here yeah so that's going to Ronki and this one we've got to also take across now to Ronki so they're gonna deliver it rather to this side there we go and then we can officially switch all our spectacle production over to this side I'm gonna just for now maybe do two brasseries set up one warehouse here and I'll maybe do a warehouse over here and I'm gonna need to put a power plant here as well so I think I'm gonna maybe set it up on this side that's a nice spot for it and we just build the tracks through there we go right so now we've got power supply basically for the glass production or the spectacle production rather and speaking of that I need to build a glass maker of these <laughs> just do it like this one two three get across there we go I think I'm gonna just go ahead and set up the power station already I'm gonna just do a single line through to this side the double rail is just to make sure there's no congestion there's only going to be one or two power plants on this side and the road's going to split in any case so let's do it like this i'm going to put it through let's take it only to run up there right and set up the power plant right across As usual, always seems to run out of bricks. Okay, so I'm gonna just collect a few bricks on this side. What else do I need? I definitely need bricks, and I need steel beams. Oh, the rest seems okay. I'm gonna maybe just take some wood, and we can use some windows. Let's just take that through. Room to maneuver. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to hasten the whole production for the glass as well. So that will give me enough glass to pretty much cover the spectacle makers here. So maybe we're going to just do two for now. Still need a location for my motor assembly line. Might be a good idea to place it here on the side. I've got a trade building set up here, so and I've got a power plant right next to it. Let's see if we can fit two. We can definitely fit two in here. And maybe no, that's not gonna work. Maybe do it like this. Squeeze it through all the way. And I'm just trying to figure out a layout here that I can work with. So this should be good. I'm just gonna go with that. Pull it across. This is a pretty choppy setup, but uh, it will work. I think the trade union should reach all of that. Let's see if I can move it slightly closer uh, man it's only 
overlapping just that's a bummer I might need to move this Ship one, one level up in any case so that's fine let's just leave that as it is for now I'm gonna need to start making the spectacles let me just build a power plant on this side I'm quite curious to see how much the aluminium would trade for if we had to sell it by the docklands. That might be a cool idea. Just to set up uh, like a, a trade route which we can bring the aluminium in to the old world and then we sell it from the docklands. I think that's a fantastic idea. I want to see. Let's see how that would look. Never really checked it. Ah, let's just go to this one set up any trade routes here yet so let's see if I've got uh, aluminium here if they allow me to, to build it here <laughs> which it doesn't look as if they want you to oh that's sneaky okay so in fact they don't allow you to trade with the aluminium that's interesting okay so I don't know if they missed that, because everything else can be traded. Oh, here we go. And what would the aluminium fall under? It's not on any of these categories. That's strange. Okay, either way, I can get the aluminium from here. So let's see. For example, if we had to get your leadership. Coat. It's two to one. Okay, it's not that nice of a commodity. I thought it would have been worth a lot more though. So uh, it's not going to be that, that lucrative to trade with. I just took a chance to see, but uh, no, that's not going to work. Alright, so my power plant is set up here. We're going to do some awesome glass production here. So my spectacles is set up. Set up well enough now just to accommodate the current population that we've got so i'm gonna have to get this cargo ship to also import the spectacles from ronki to silver streams that will be my next production line i think i need to set up another sink mine i've only got the I don't have anything fine set up yet. Okay. Well, there we go. There's my first thing fine. And I believe it's connected to the power, so that's great. I'm gonna have a good production on that one. Definitely need to do this one as well. This one is like. Oh, wait, we can connect this one to the power. Let's rather do this then. There we go. This warehouse. I don't think we need to build another warehouse. There we go. Nice. So that's all set up on that side. Alright, so it's going to start moving very quickly now. I need to start with the light bulb production also. I want to set up a few more depots. The storage is not that fantastic at the moment. Oh, the crane! And let's get some bricks from so Archibald. I want to buy this oil tanker as well. I've got a little quest here. This must appear ungrateful. Help! My brief candle extinguishes you wield. I am giddy with okay, gratitude. 50% nice. productivity for the framework knitters. That's an interesting one. Don't see this one often. Lady Jane Smith. Okay, so she affects the framework knitters as well as the fur dealers. That is amazing. And she gives ponchos 
and bomb bins. This is going to come very handy. But we're going to also shift the fur dealers across uh, to the island Ronki. But for now, I'm going to just break down the spectacle factory here that we've got, as well as the brassery. I'm not going to use that. And then I believe we can break down some of the glass production that we've got going here. Maybe just take two of the first mines. And let's just take that one for now. Here we go. I'm going to eventually move all the agricultural buildings. I'm going to move to this island here, Toval. So this is going to be... Oops. Forgot the road there. This is going to be my agricultural island. So this is only going to be farmland. We've got the wine, the vineyards here, and we're going to have the cattle here, we're going to have the sheep here. It's a nice big island, so I'm not going to build a big town. It's going to be my worker class and my farmer class that's going to stay here. Here I've got the potatoes going. I think I might as well build another potato farm on this side. Just to already get them Sweet set up I love for the big production. Right, and another schnapps distillery, that's perfect, right, I just need to bring in the aluminium from the new world now to this island so that we can set up the airport or the air platform as well on this side, and then I think I'm going to just use this harpy, I'll have to build another one then for the errands, but I'm going to use this harpy that I've got currently. Stable. And um, I'm going to use it to do the regional mail for the, for the old world. So let's just uh, take some aluminium. I can only transport 100, which is more than enough. I'm going to take it through to Toval. There you go. Away with you. Oh, now it's slow moving. <laughs> That's a huge thing. Give us a heading. Oh my goodness. Compared to the other one, wow. Any guess? I've got a ship here in Cape Trelawney, I believe. Here we go. So I want to just <laughs> buy a few more of these other things. What do you call it? The eco sounder. So I buy these eco sounders for next to nothing. You only require steel and quartz. And then you can sell this for 20,000, which is fantastic. So it's a real quick way to make money. Just to get you started. Or if you've got a little bit of a snag like I've got now with my income. And that's a good way to boost your income. So that's a quick 40k right there with the steel that uh, <laughs> nice provides for me. So it's pretty easy. Worst case scenario, you only have to bring quartz to him. He's got the steel and then you use the quartz and steel to produce the echo sounder. So now, right now I'm just bringing my Harpy airship in so that I can build this air platform. So we only need 45 aluminium, but I need more bricks once again. So let's see. Okay, so Archibald is currently selling all the bricks to my other islands. So that sucks. Um, let's maybe take some bricks time. from Silver Streams and we take it across to Tobol so that we can just build the Asia platform and then we can start transporting the regional mail. And that will ultimately also boost our population all around. It's a surprise inspection. So we've got the post office there and there and I think we've got a little mailbox here somewhere, I believe. Here we go. Here's a mailbox. And where did I place the other one? Okay, looks like I've only got that one. The pendulum swings between content. Okay, either way. 
first off from this side but I'm going to definitely start looking to increase my population now I need some to boost my income so at the moment the schnapps is going down I'll have to boost that I'm going to just maybe upgrade the worker class because we've got enough workers soap is going down not too fast though, so... Okay, but we've got everything else that we need for the investors for now. So I'm gonna just go ahead and boost some of the worker class residents. Let's just do it like this. And then we can also... Once I've done that, I can also upgrade some of the artisan buildings. So I think maybe we can upgrade this block over here, there we go, and then we can upgrade this block of engineers to investors, and then that's going to give us a nice boost in income, there we go. New orders. Right, so I need the bricks, I'm going to use all the bricks that I've got now. And why not? Let's just use the steel as well as the windows and the concrete. On our way. So this airship should be getting here any time now. You can see it's already entered the territory. Yeah, these things are so fast, man, compared to your normal ships. I don't even know if you you are able to take these airships on the expeditions. <laughs> I wanted to see. I haven't even checked that yet. Ah, uh, no, you see. They're not allowing you to do the airships. Oh, that sucks. That would have been really awesome though. I think they should definitely allow that. I'm sure people in that time when they originally built the airships, they traveled all around. Little bit steady, I'm going towards Toval. We're gonna get that Asia platform up and running soon. The I'm media for is merely more ways to boost the income, so I wanna start producing the gramophones as well as the penny farthings. I need to get an island in the new world which I can produce the Kauchuk. This might be a good one, although I want to use this island, Yuga Lego for my tobacco production and we need a lot of space for the tobacco so I'm gonna maybe look to set up a third island this is not a bad one though I need plenty of space for the caoutchouc I think I might be settling on this one then We've got a bauxite deposit as well as nine oil fields. So I think what we, would be a good idea is to maybe build the town on this side and then we can use the rest of the space for the caoutchouc. Your ship has returned from its voyage. So they don't allow you to build a caoutchouc farm from the hacienda. So when you look here at your crop selection, oh, so they do allow you to build caoutchouc. Okay, that's fantastic. I missed that one. All right, so the only thing that you can't then produce at the hacienda is the tobacco. I thought it was both the caoutchouc and the tobacco, but the caoutchouc will be able to do. So maybe I must just do that. We've got an awesome range on the Hacienda now, at the moment. So I can maybe just set up all the caoutchouc farms. Right here. I think why not? Let's just start with that now.
Ship constructed. I want to see how my fertilizer is looking at the moment. It's still rising, so that's good. So I'm gonna build a fertilizer works on the no one field no production. Work. And we can get a double production on this one. Oh man. No, not corn. Kauchuk. There we go. And Kauchuk for you as well. There we go. Right. Perfect. So we've got a little bit of cartridge production going here. Let's just build two more. Okay for now. And then we I'm gonna use all a cargo ship all to transport the, the Kauchuk across from Yuga Lego. To our old old island Ronki. And then what I'll do is I'll also set up the penny farthing production off screen. There we go. Okay, so that's up and running. Good to go. So then our penny farthings will production will be set up within the next episode. And then we'll start making a little bit more mula. I'm gonna keep this one here do any extra errands that I've got and then I've got my new airship here mosquito so this one is gonna deliver the regional mail let's build a few more houses here If there's more enough space, yeah, there's enough space for one house, and no more space on this side. Maybe just look to set up a post office or post box rather, around about here. Set up here. Right, so now we've got a post box running here as well to get some post, to generate a little bit more post. Because if we're gonna transport the local mail between the two islands, we need to make sure that they produce enough local mail to counter the mail that we're taking from this island. block here. That's it. Perfect. Gonna have to set up another fire station right there and the police station is covering pretty much everything. Let's just build it like that back to back. So now we can set up the Asia platform. Just need those bricks that I got with my diving bell ship. There we go, and that's all of that. So we can set up the Asia platform right away. And then we 
to build the sorting office. And I'm going to need some more bricks to build that one, but that's fine. I don't need that at the moment. So we've got the sorting office now, which is great. So now we can start sending mail across from Toval to Silver Streams. So that the families can communicate with each other. So I'm going to sign Mosquito. That's your airship route. So Mosquito, you're going to come from Toval to Silver Streams. And let's just take let's just take 15 mil at a time. Yeah, I think that should be okay. Let's take 15 mil at a time, and then also you can load 15 mil from Silver Streams, and I think that should balance it out pretty neatly. There we go. Fleet awaiting orders. So now we've got a pretty decent setup here going now for the regional this mail. This city in the is a old magnet world. for genius. Let's just select that nurse. You saw buoyancy achieved. And there we go. Right, so now we've got a pretty decent transport system, uh, air transport system that we've got going with the mail across the new world. Uh, into the old world and just in between the islands from both the old world and the new world so now we're going to get the maximum population out that we can out of the mailing system because we are basically giving them all the mail that they need so you can see there in the distance there's the other airship it's looking pretty awesome you see the airship now up and running so for the next episode i'm going to just further expand the air transport systems that I've got going and I'm going to also boost population there's a few things that I'm going to do off screen um, both to boost the, the, the population and both to boost um, the economy in general but if you would like to follow the series and see how I'm going to progress with this and as we further expand to build our airship Fleet, then you are free or welcome to subscribe to this channel and press the like button and thank you so much for watching but this is us for today and i'll see you in the next one bye bye